Good evening and welcome back to The Apartment. I'm your host, Gus Johnson. It was a dairy disaster. Local news anchor Gus Johnson returned home to his modest Los Angeles apartment early this afternoon to discover that one of his dumbass roommates had left the almond milk cap partially unscrewed, spilling contents all over the fridge. For more on this now, we go to our special correspondent and potentially guilty anchor, Sandra Martinez. Sandra? Thank you, Gus. Though this story is still developing, sources close to me are saying that this is in no way a result of my actions. Signs point to probable involvement from our very own Brian Fulton. Brian? Thank you, Sandra. Gus, they're calling it the bullshit of the century. As many of our viewers know, I don't even drink almond milk, because as we all know, almond milk is for little bitches. Plus, I wasn't even home this afternoon, as I was out whipping donuts with my cousin in the parking lot of the local food mart. Thank you, Brian. Fascinating stuff. Our viewers at home should note that Brian Fulton is not only one of the longest serving anchors here at the apartment, but he is also a fucking liar. An excellent point, Gus. And might I add, I am fairly certain that Brian is not only responsible for the local almond milk situation, but he may also be the person, or persons, who has been using all of the house toilet paper without replacing it. <laughs> really great investigative work, Sandra. I think I speak for all of us here in the apartment when I say that you have a truly great talent when it comes to stretching the truth. You backwoods, baby back bitch. Many thanks, Brian, but I've seen the aftermath of your incessant tequila shits, so I hope you'll excuse me when I say I know a lying sack of shit when I see one. Gus? Right you are, Sandra. Brian's tequila turmoil is just the latest event in a long history of alcoholic adversity. Toilet paper trouble and milk monstrosities aside, I am also completely convinced that Brian Fulton has been shaving his ball sack hair in my bathroom, subsequently clogging up the sink with his peach fuzz pubes. We interrupt this broadcast for what appears to be some breaking bullshit. Local news anchor Gus Johnson has reportedly been showering me with a myriad of stupid accusations. Gus thinks he's so goddamn innocent, but I would invite the viewers at home to take a look at this graphic, which details Gus's many shitty shortcomings. It all started in the fifth grade, when Gus pooped his pants, not once, not twice, but three times in gym class. Sources say that fifth grade is far too old to poop one's pants, even once, and I agree. Next up, Gus's relationship with his father. It's a well-known fact around the apartment that Gus's dad completely despises him. Many cite the reasons for this as being that Gus has never held down a steady job, is terrible with women, and is considered by many to be a lifelong disappointment. And finally, I would be remiss if I did not mention Gus's overwhelming B.O. A local apartment resident once described Gus's scent as being putrid, musty, and borderline offensive. Knowing these things about Gus, it's no wonder he would resort to throwing his housemates under the bus as a distraction from his miserable life. Gus? 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 Gus, can you hear me? Well, I apologize to our viewers. We're either experiencing technical difficulties or Gus is just too much of a little bitch to stand up for himself. <laughs>